Okay, guys. Um, I've just gone to a video that um, is basically this video here that I've got on my browser. Let's endure DSP playing The Last of Us multiplayer live. And I just watched and I heard something that I find I find incredibly insulting. Now, I'm not ashamed of admitting this, but as a person, not as an LPR, but as a person in my real self, I have autism. I'm not afraid to admit that. I I'm not afraid to admit it. I have it. It's a fact of life. I've had to live with that. I've got to live with that for the rest of my life. But when I hear a fucking stupid little fucking twat complaining about a game, The Last of Us, which I love as a game, it's one of the greatest games of the PS3. It got a 10 out of 10 from IGN. It's by Naughty Dog. It's one of the best games. He's playing multiplayer live and he he, ha he makes a private match, fair enough, but you have to invite friends. He then says, um, I've got to uh, delete all my friends requests. I've got a clip that I just recorded. I don't say anything, but you might hear me breathing or something like that very quietly in the background, so I apologize, apologize about that. But I'm going to put this in for you, into the, into the video, in this video, and I'm going to ask you guys what you think of this. This fucking pisses me off because this is an insult. This is this is stereotyping. This is downright arrogance and the fact that you know you you wouldn't why would you say this on a stream and then you wonder why you get hate. Well, Phil, you are a little fucking little prick and this really really insults me. Now you probably can guess what it is. A lot of you may have seen this, but if you haven't, here's the clip. And I'll see you in a second. Oh my god. Come on. Is he trying what is he trying to figure out again? Like how to invite people? Yeah. yeah. Private match. Okay. Wow. Phil, okay. you do know that private match is um for your friends to play against you. Yeah, friends. that's, um, Guess what we're gonna have to do. yeah, you want to do right. public match. Oh, dude, so did you have to put this in there? He did. You didn't have to put, yeah, he put it in there, his, him deleting play. all the friend requests. So yeah, we like get like him being a dick. That's Xbox, right. <laughs> Not that we don't get enough of that, but. Autistic people. Oh my There's the insult to autistic God. people. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that has autism. I'm gonna be honest, guys, I've got autism. So, I'm a, little, I'm a little bit offended. <laughs> yeah, I worked with autistic kids, so that offended me because I knew a whole bunch of kids. Yeah, like, I don't think Phil knows what autism is because if he did, he'd know that freaking Albert Einstein was autistic or had Asperger's or something. Even Abraham Lincoln had freaking fell under the autism spectrum, and I think somebody in the comments pointed that out. So. Gosh, that's great. That's cool. The whole yeah. Albert Einstein. Yeah. When I found that out, I was like, wow. So people who are considered geniuses have fucking autism. Yeah. Yeah, not you. <laughs> Personalities people like to watch. Okay. <laughs> so. Three minutes in, and all it is is ranting. All it is is him deleting friend requests and being a douchebag. Wonder how many parts it took to get. Or well, it's not even parts. It's probably just a stream. Wonder how long it took him. Okay, there's the clip. I mean, anyone who is anyone who watched that clip at the time 
I know these two did. I, I left that in deliberately so you could hear their reaction. Yeah, he insults autism. He insults people with autism and says the PS3 is only for those with autism. Now that fucks me off. It seriously angers me beyond any imagining because I'm autistic. I had the PS3. I managed just fine. I had the Xbox. I managed just fine. I have a PS4. I managed just fine. I had a PS, uh, an Xbox One. I managed just fine. I have a PC. I'm recording on my PC. I manage just fine. Phil, I'm not even going to bother anymore because, quite frankly, you insult everything that I hold dear when it comes to games. I, I adore games. I adore... I love people who create great games. And those of you who know the type of people I'm talking about, you know, the likes of, you know, the Capcom team that created Resident Evil 2, the team that created Metal Gear Solid 1 with, Kojima, with Hideo Kojima at the helm, you know, Final Fantasy, all those games I fucking adore. I love them. And companies that listen to the fans and put the fans first and listen to the community, I love all of that. You play every single game you play, you insult. You find a white reason why you can't do it. And you say in an update video that I watched earlier, I didn't watch all of it because I couldn't bear to watch it. But you what? it was like 2013 this one was released. But you say that it's your type of commentary. No it isn't. You put that in there to be a fucking twat you do that deliberately to so you get a reaction and you wonder why people hate you you seriously wonder why people hate you I hope you watch this I don't care what you say to me I know I'm a small channel I know I'm a small channel but I am a channel that has worked my ass off to get where I am and I appreciate everybody who watches my videos you don't you have someone who you have people who insult Kingdom Hearts your girlfriend insults Kingdom Hearts and then you have a go at the stream chat. You don't say to your girlfriend, oh actually, you know, you're being out of order there. You know, you need to stop because it's going to get everyone's back up. No, you don't do that. You defend her behaviour. You then also are racist. You also are sexist. You insult people and you make jokes and you go, oh, it's my humour. No, it isn't. It's you being a dick. It's you showing your incapability of understanding that these games are great for a reason and these people who make these games are far smarter and superior in the world than you are Phil you are just you you you're, you're compared to them you're a little insect on the floor they they're like this huge giant skyscraper you're you're like a you're like a basement flat that's what you are to them you mean nothing to them and you can hate all you like and you can bitch all you like, and you can fail all you like. I find that entertaining that you fail, because you just go, oh, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. Anyway, guys, I've had enough of ranting now. I've got a phone call. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.